just leaving this uh, lovely hotel, well recommended, good food, good accommodation, great views, nothing bad to say about it really. Oh, do bring some uh, electrical converter plugs though for Italy, which is two pin and a very narrow type of thing. My two pin ones from the UK didn't work, but luckily they've got a whole host of them in a drawer, so they lent some to me. Anyway, day seven, we've got... Uh, nearly dropped it. It's this really long first gear on this thing. bit of a wiggly one to find that hotel as you probably saw oh you may not have seen it because I think the battery went flat so it's probably a good job on filming this a little bit here so today we've got some fantastic passes to go up if it all goes to goes to plan uh, we've got uh, Telegraph Galibier uh, Lisseran I think it is I'm going to save the battery for filming on those uh, routes later on. And we'll catch up with you then, I think. See you in a while. So just a few kilometres down the road, we're just jumping onto the A5. This is eight, nine, nine euros prepayment from here. Forgot to say where I'm going. I think it's Barat Baratia. I'll put the map up at this point um, as an overview. And I've got two different routes really, depends how much time you've got because it's still quite a long day. There's either three stroke four passes or it's four stroke five passes if you've got the time and the energy. Um, I've chosen the lesser of the two options, uh, but I think I can always change it later if we make better time than expected. This is the start of St. Bernardo. Bernardo. Oh, I'll put it up on the screen. Bernardo screen. As the pass is open, so that's the way we go. They are Col Piccolo San Bernardo. That's what it says on the sign, isn't it? There's some tight ones up here, viewers. Watch me cock a few of these up. <laughs> Very tight. We've obviously chosen to go up the steepest part of this uh, hillside. Hmm, don't think there's going to be too many uh, overtaking opportunities by the looks of it up here. Oh, don't stop, mate. Keep going. Oh, for flipping it. The dog's watching me anyway. <laughs> dog's looking out the rear window. Going, What's going on here? I'm going to throw up in a minute. So at the top of those wigglies, after a little bit of uh, winding through some tunnels, this is where we've come out to. Unfortunately we've got more traffic up here now. Probably best if I show you at the top perhaps, but uh, I know a lot of people like to see the actual road on the way up these passes. So I'll film a little bit more here. It's just one pass after another. Oh, they're all going to go for it now. So this is the, the town that we've come into here. I'll put it up on the screen, no idea which one it is. I think we go straight up. Typical little ski village this one. Whoops, let's go around the corner, sure. Bit early for a coffee, isn't it? Yeah, let's get to the top. There must probably be a coffee shop up there. 
There's some wigglies coming up. Look at your screen. <laughs> like my riding this morning. Got to take these opportunities. So here we are, we've just come out near the top of those wigglies. Oh, there's more to go up there actually. Let's see if there's a coffee stop further up. Another great day for filming the passes. That sun's bright this morning. There's a very, there's a very tight turns on this one. <laughs> Be prepared for them. Look at that view, that lake up here. It's helmet cam only. This must be the peak. We've got the ski lift uh, station up here. Stop here somewhere. Don't want to go too far off road. There you go, 7,193 feet at this point. Right, let's take some pictures. look after their roads quite as much on this, this side, do they? So we just turned uh, onto the D1090. So we make our way down this hillside. With 159 miles to go. We just stopped because uh, David's got something crawling in his crash helmet. So I thought I'd just show you the screenshot here of where the route goes. So we've got a few uh, hairpins down the side here as we head towards, as it says, seas. We're going to turn back on ourselves here onto the D. Tell you in a minute. That's the D. That's the D902. This is. Oh, just a quick update. After turning onto that uh, road, we're just seen a sign for the Col de Lizaran. Lizaran? La Lizaran? That's where we're heading next. Big reservoir here on our right. We're still on our way up to the top of the Lizaran, on our way to Val d'Isère. So we just entered the ski resort of Val d'Isère. So 
So we're the other side of Val d'Isere and this is the uh, start of the actual Col de Lisieux. Uh, Col de Lisieux. So I'll film as much of this as I can. Unfortunately I think the front camera needs a new battery very soon. So we'll see how we go. A great day for doing passes. 20 degrees. Not too hot. Not too cold. It's the Goldilocks uh, window for weather. Bye bye. Awesome valley. Well, I haven't been up here. Oh yes, I have. Many, many, many years ago. But didn't film it. That's the whole purpose of this uh, trip, really, to capture some of these high coals on film. Give a big thumbs up if you can. It really helps me with the old YouTube algorithms. Thumbs up on the uh, YouTube page just below where you're watching the video, please. Some angles in the road there. Different cambers to play with. Yep, still got a little bit more battery by the looks of it. Look at this. So that's Val d'Isere down below us, which we went through. Now we're still working our way up to the top over there. Our highest point. I think this is the one with that uh, viewers, anyone I'm talking to here. I think it's that one with that signpost that everybody stands in front of with their bikes or big grins and takes a picture of. I've done the very same myself in the past, but I haven't filmed it. It's awesome up here, isn't it? Look at that height. We've got 7,600 feet at the moment. Look at this winding its way up here. Fantastic. What a great day. This is biking. At its best. Don't piss anybody off too far because we're quite near the top. <laughs> Probably going to be a big queue at the top to get the photo of Ralph's done. Right, I'll catch up with the top guys. Let's go and park up here. Right, new battery in. Let's uh, go. Cheers now. Got the obligatory picture at the top there against the sign. So long ago I don't remember any of this, I just remember the sign bit at the top. Massive ski area here of course. Yeah I know. I just gave the thumbs up as I went past. Right, I'll turn the camera off for a little while, I think. But what an awesome uh, coal this. So this is on the, f the other side, a bit further down. Just want to show you the ribbon of roads running down there. Might be able to see it better from around here. Look at that ribbon there. Met a nice couple from uh, Manchester area. 
hadn't heard of the PEMC, so uh, gave them the old uh, cell, sales speech. Says he'll have a look at that. Got some mates from up at that up in that area as well, so might capture a few more members. If you're watching, I hope that you've uh, signed up. Front camera only, so this is further down the bottom of the uh, col. that place up there. Wow, that's a fort. This is the D... Hold on, 1046 I think this one is. Oh no, 1006 I think it is. I'll stick up on the page. Look at this, stunning, huh? There's some... Uh, Diversion ahead and it keeps coming up with a, a warning about that on my dash. So we're just coming into the uh, town of Modane, still on the 1006. What a valley this is! Thank goodness it's a bit cooler though, it's 23 and a half degrees today. Well, at the moment, anyway. Right, so we just had a little lunch in Modane. Of course, we come across a root bar, so we've just uh, been sent up this one, which is the Corbiere. Uh, towards Chambry, it's the, it's the deviation to Chambry. So we're on the... Uh, oh, it's that little D2... D215. Oh, it says it on the side now, hold on. Yeah, T215. Oh, deviation up here. Oh, this is becoming fun today. So we might not get up the uh, telegraph. A bit wiggly. I'll show you more at the top, I think. So we just turned... Uh, left off that road and uh, up we're on the D902 I think this one is. It's the route to Telegraph. Did you get Which uh, I think precedes the Galibier. That's what the sign was anyway. Is the Calder Telegraph. Okay, let's stop here a minute. And we just passed the sign that said this is the start of the uh, Galibier Pass. I think it's a little way up here before it gets interesting, so I'll bring you back at that point. And a bit further up the Galibier. This is fantastic, isn't it? I'm sure I've done this one. I must have done this one, it's on the route to grind out. 
What a brilliant day for catching another pass. I hope he's still filming. Change the battery at the top, I think. It's awesome, isn't it? The height there. Oh, a bit threatening bitty around there. Is this is the top. Right. This is the south side. Again, not too much arm code down this side. I guess we're going to wind all the way down along there. Yep, we are. We'll stop here somewhere if we can. That was good. Both cameras on, so we're just leaving this car parking slot at Galibier and going up the rest of it. Stutter, stutter, stutter. Oh. Right, let's get back into it. Look at that. Views up here. They definitely need some armco though. <laughs> oh dear. D902, come on. Whoa, sorry. Sorry, mate. Cut the corner myself there. Get it right. <laughs> <laughs> I 
no mistakes needed here please concentrate two minutes so I'll turn the cameras off it's a bit further down the uh, Galibier now it's 49 miles to our hotel which is for the next two nights uh, I've just remembered so I must have a loop ride tomorrow somewhere don't want brake failure there do you? That's fantastic, that's been a great afternoon. Got some great film, hopefully it's not corrupted. Otherwise that will be a, a tearful moment that will, if that's all corrupted. It's dry so it should be okay, fingers crossed. Right, well I think that's most of it down there. Great views though, aren't they? Fantastic. Get out here and hope that you get the same sort of sunny weather. We haven't had a bad day so far. So September is good for biking out here. As you know, I normally pick May or September. But, uh, September is better for out these ways because the, some of these passes, well, I doubt they will be open. Some of them don't open until June, but check it out online. Usually gives you a good guide on the websites. Briancon on the route to Grenoble. I think it's the 1091. D1091. We've got 33 miles to go. Quick update, we're on the N94 and we've got eight miles to go from here. So I'll catch up with you as we approach the uh, hotel location. Right, we just come off that main road, we're on the D40, D40, signposted Baratia, which is where we're heading to. Must be the wind blowing that whole thing around. So we're less than a mile from our residence. Is it that one? Mm, it's this one, I think. Should recognise it when I get there. It's down. Here somewhere. I don't know what's up there. Hotel restaurant Le Pouplier. I think it's up. This is, should be a nice one, it's just here on the left. Don't know where we can, oh, I'm going to park up here, I think. What do you think? And it's in the shade. So this is the bedroom tour, quickly, here at the Baratia Logius Hotel. So as you can see, we've, we've got a triple room here and uh, there's TV usual desk arrangement and hanging space here and then through here we've got separate loo and uh, shower room etc all very nice